Wow, what an episode of Black Clover, man. Black Clover episode 46. And I say it all the time. If you haven't watched this show yet, you need to go back. You need to at least get to the eye of the midnight sun. You need to watch that arc. And you just need to finish Black Clover. Because, you know, a lot of shows go out there. And this episode really just showcased that perfectly. Whether it be characterization, you know, through the flashback, through dialogue. Whether it be character development. Whether it's making a character interesting. Black Clover seems to at least touch a little bit of everything some shows can go really hard with the characterization development but i mean black clover it touches things you know it touches everything it's like it covers a little bit of everything you know whether it be the villain whether it be the protagonist whether it be you know context on a certain setting and or events and like i said some shows can go hard on whether it be the characterization and or development but it seems as if they always do leave out one or the other or they just kind of, you know, they just they just don't go in for the side characters as well. And Black Clover is a show that's gone in for the side characters, more importantly. You know, I mean, we've gotten stuff with Luck, we've gotten stuff with Mag, you know, Magna, and we're going to get stuff with the other ones. You can tell that's the Black Clover trend. Whether it goes really hard in depth, I don't know. But it touches base, you know, it touches bases on everything. And that's something that a lot of shows fail to do. And I think if you do a little bit of everything, it elevates the show and makes it one big thing. And that's why I really enjoy Black Clover. But this episode of Black Clover, man, it's really, you know, it did a great job of setting up the atmosphere. You know, it wasn't like top-notch animation, like, oh my god, or anything like that. You know, it wasn't Yami vs. Lit. But what it was, it was a sh it was a show that had you know that does have nice music. It's a show that does set up the atmosphere. It's a show that you know explain why Kiyato and you know Kohano and or Kahano, I believe it is actually pronounced, are so good at what they do and why they're so passionate about what they do. You know what they do since they've been doing it since they're kids. Since they do it because they feel as if that's making the sea god happy. It gave us a little information on why they do it, not just when they do it, and that explains why they're you know a little bit passionate about it. We're not a little bit, but a whole lot. And it even gave us the grandpa's perspective. And that kind of, it shows that I'm not just rooting for you because you're my grandchildren. I'm rooting for you because you worked your asses off getting this far. You know, he basically says that. Not word for word, but that's basically what, you know, what he says. So, I mean, that's really cool to see. But that's the great thing about this, this fight, this, this arc. Whenever he, you know, Kiyata loses his leg because of Veto, you see him, he crushed his dream. Whenever he, you know, punctures the, you know, crushes the vocal cords of Kahano, you see him crush his dream. And then he grabs her by the hand, holds her up in the air, and, 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 and it's just degrading her, belittling her, saying, how does it feel? How does despair feel? How does it feel to have your dream just taken right from you? And it's like, holy shit. It, now that's how you make me not like a character. That's how you make someone root for a character to lose. That's how you make me root for a protagonist. And that's what this show did just now, dude. And I love it. I love it. That's how That's how it should be. That's how it should be every damn time, dude. So, I mean, I, holy crap. And, you know, to add insult to injury, Noelle unlocks her true power and it was monstrous she blew a hole within the you know through the stone and yeah i mean she busted a hole right through it and her water even went through the um the boundary as you did notice um vetos did not it dispersed but noelle's did go through the boundary so it makes you wonder man I mean, well you see how strong she is i mean she just took off half this guy's body then luckily grew his arms back and limbs back that's just unlucky i don't really know what to say about that but asta's out now up so i'm really wondering what's going to happen with that um he's gonna need a new ability i don't think there's any way around that he's gonna need a new ability to get through this you know so i mean Asta doesn't really understand his power and he does he did get a power up the first time and i was kind of like i don't know it's, i guess it's is nakama power-esque for sure but it was done tastefully so as long as black clover if it's gonna do you know the power of friendship as long as it just does it tastefully i really don't care because i'm used to that i'm a shonen nerd anyways in general for the most part i mean there are times where shows can just get a little like, okay, what's going on here? Come on, man. But, um, I mean, outside of that, though, I wonder what's going to happen and how they're going to defeat him. I would imagine Asta has to get a power up. I, I, hell if I know, right? We know, but, but that's the thing. If he does get the certain power up, we know the fifth clover stands for demon, the fifth leaf on the clover. 
And we know we've seen a little bit of that in like the first episode or two. We saw something strange. So if we were to get that again, it would make sense. And I wouldn't say bullshit because we know that he's been possessed by some demon esque kind of power in general. We saw the neon green and black kind of magic coming from him or wherever that was. Demonic power. I don't even know if that was magic. But nonetheless, though, so, I mean. And the show did a good job of also giving us a vague past of, of uh, Veto and that wedding he was at and seeing all those people die. So it makes you wonder what the heck's going on there. And that looked look like Master Lit, right? So who... Who did, excuse me, who did he get married to there? Right in the video, damn it. But uh, <laughs> who did he get married to there and whatnot? So it makes you wonder. I mean, but hey, I don't know. I think Black Clover's doing a great job. I think that this video needs to end before I, like, I don't know. It's, I don't know what's going on with my throat, man. I think Veto crushed mine, too. I got, I was like, but... <laughs> But other than that, though, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.